Hello, InnerTubers! Basic cooking lessons again. Let's make salad. Mm, yum, yum, yum! Now, for some of you, this information is incredibly basic, but I had four separate requests from people, and they all wanted to know how to do some really basic shit. So, well, Granny's your girl. So, I have a basic question for you. Is it salad if there's no lettuce? Uh, who the fuck cares, right? If you like it, eat it! That's all that's important. That's my number one rule about all cooking, remember? If you like it, it goes in. If not, fuck it. I suppose the other half of that question is, what can you put in it and still call it a salad? Again, the same answer, whatever the fuck you want. Now, you know, every time I do one of these videos, I get any number of people who write to me and say, oh, I would never put that in a salad. Oh, I would never put that in a salad. Well, how can you call it a salad if you don't put that in it? Here's my answer. If you have special shit that you like, put it in it. If there's shit you don't like, don't worry about it, and don't worry about what anybody else thinks it's your food. You're cooking it, you're alone, do whatever the fuck you want. This is one of those times when it's really cool to be by yourself. Making salad actually starts when you go shopping. Last night while I was out getting stuff for this video, I took some shots of the mile and a half, or at least it seemed like it, of produce shit all over my store. And then of course there were separate bins in the middle. You could just buy the whole thing and end up eating salad for the next 653 years. The number one thing to remember as you go through the grocery store is to buy what you like. These happen to be my favorites. I really like red leaf lettuce because it's really soft and you don't have to wrestle it when you want to eat it. And I love iceberg lettuce, which actually doesn't grow well at home. You take off the outside bits that are kind of wilty and brown, and then you get to the crunchy part. And that's the part I like, because a good bit of having a salad is having a sensory experience while you eat. I said sensory, pay attention. Now you could go all traditional with just a tomato and some cucumber and a carrot, or you could get all kinds of funky extras. Look at this, there's nuts and shit and things, and there's all kinds of cheeses, and there's all kinds of meat, and there's all kinds of foo-foo fancy gourmet shit you can put in it. Even tofu if you like that shit. And of course, you know me, if you're gonna have a fruit salad, well, you have to have pineapple. And yes, you can mix lettuce and fruit. It's just fine. In fact, you can take one of these big leaves and you can put your fruit inside it and you can roll it up and it'd be like a little lettuce burrito. Very refreshing in the summer, don't you think? You're gonna put some dressing on that shit, right? Of course you are. What do you like? Are you the creamy type? Are you the oil and vinegar type? Are you the simple type, just some lemon and salt and pepper? Remember to pay attention to what you like to eat, whether it's been at home, or in a restaurant, or in a college dorm, or out at a dinner party. Do what you like. That's what's most important. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna do a very simple oil and vinegar and lemon salad dressing because it's very light and it's summer and who the hell wants something that weighs seven tons in your belly? Not me. When you go to the store, if oil and vinegar is your choice, don't get all freaked out about all the different kinds of vinegar. There's rice vinegar, that's generally kind of sweet, got a little bit of tart to it. And then there's white apple vinegar or red apple vinegar, and that's very, very, very bitter. And then there's balsamic vinegar, which is kind of a mix of the two. It's a little bit sweet, it's a little bit tart, but the cool thing about it, it's kind of sticky, so it'll marry the lettuce. It just kind of snuggles close and stays right on the lettuce leaf. In terms of oil, you don't have to get all fancy, fancy, foo-foo gourmet. Oh no, you don't need that EVOO, that's extra virgin olive oil. No, all you need is something that's gonna stick to the lettuce and make love to it. One little caution about buying dressings in the store. Don't be fooled into thinking that you're gonna eat salad every week if it's not really your thing. You don't wanna find salad dressing in your refrigerator two years after it's out of date. Making a salad is really pretty easy. If you don't have a lot of tools, don't worry about it. I happen to have a salad spinner that I bought 
oh, I don't know, I was probably in my 40s. But if you don't have one, don't worry about it. Paper towels will do the job. The key is to wash your lettuce. I didn't, well, rinse your lettuce. Don't wash your lettuce. Don't put any soap on it. You know what soap does if you eat it? Look it up, guys. Goggle it. It's not pleasant. Hey, guys, I do have a little tip. Back from the days 30, 40 years ago, when I was first buying Tupperware, I learned how to take the core out of a head of iceberg lettuce. You mash it against the sink really hard. You just punch the fuck out of it. You do not do this to people, however. No, 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 no. I understand there is a big debate about whether or not you cut lettuce or you tear lettuce. For me, it comes down to time and ease. I do not want to sit and tear. I'd rather just chop the fuck out of it with a knife, you know, like bam, 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 every aggression out, gone. And I never have to get upset about anything after that. There's a fun little wiki article linked down in the description if you want to check it out further. Number one piece of importance when cutting up your lettuce is to keep everything bite size. There's nothing worse than trying to put an elephant sized piece of lettuce into a human mouth. And in terms of romaine, no ribs. Never ribs in my fucking salad. Romaine is rubbish as far as I'm concerned. Absolute rubbish. If you want to toss your salad in the dressing before you eat it, rather than pouring it on top, then use a bigger bowl than what you're going to eat out of. Or if you're at home alone doing your own dishes, then just eat out of the big bowl, man. Go all in, face first, go for it. Salad, yum. Pretty much down to the last decision about the salad you're going to make. Is it just for you for one meal? Are you having guests over? Or do you want to have extras that you could take to work or to eat tomorrow? I promised you that I was going to show you about having guests over for salad. And right here you can see we've got all kinds of fun little ingredients in little bowls with a little spoon and let everybody pick what they want on their salad. That way nobody gets upset and starts picking shit out at the table, which is really gross manners. Really, really, really gross manners. Oh, and one other thing. If you want to make a full meal out of this, Add some protein of your choice. I don't care, tofu, chicken, ham, beef, cheese, whatever the fuck you want. Remember my mantra? It's your fucking salad. Make it however you want it, because it's for you. Nobody's judging you. I hope you're feeling super confident now about being able to make a salad that will please you immensely. Confidence is a big thing when you're just learning to cook. And so we start with the simple shit. We've boiled eggs right? We've boiled water. We've cooked instant rice. Now we've made a salad. Yeah. Cause you're just, you're just awesome. That's it. You're just my inner tuber and you're awesome. Before you know it, you're going to be confident enough to invite guests over. Show off them cooking skills like a mofo. You'll be rocking that salad, aren't you? I want to lay some love on Tiny Sponsor. They are the first and only platform that's creator first to help influencers and creators like me find brands that want to work with us. If you're a creator, you can put together the package that makes sense for you and then brands can shop you and find you. And if you're a brand, you can sponsor me or you can check out the whole of Tiny Sponsors page and find another creator who's more suited to what it is you have to sell. We do this shit because we love it and we love our subscribers more than anything. So if we're going to work with one of your products, we're going to mean it and you're going to know it. Hook us up. Super quick shout out to my Patreon grandkids. I love that you continue to follow me even though I've been an absolute shit about getting stuff out. I really, really, really appreciate your support. I've been so crazy busy with acting. I love you anyway. Mwah. That's an extra kiss just for you. Now, the rest of you, whether you're brand new to me and this is the first video you ever saw, or you've been following me for three or four years now, please, please, please share my video. Find someone else in your community who would love to see it. Okay, and then hit the thumbs up and, and drop me a comment. Let me know if you like this kind of lesson or if you know someone who would like this kind of lesson. Don't give me any sass, okay? No, please don't give me any sass. Just give me the love. If you're a better cook than I am and you think you can do a better job, then let's see you in front of a camera, okay? Yeah. Meanwhile, everybody, everybody who ever watches my videos, you know how I end them because I love you. Mwah! Granny loves you.